Fourth edition of the $5 million Sep Out Wines All-Star Mile. What an addition it has been to the Festival of Racing calendar. And 15 owner ambassadors who voted for their favourite horse and now have a shot at winning $250,000. Here again, one more time. <laughs> so very excited. It's been an absolute whirlwind. So to be here today, yeah, very, very excited. I'm so excited for the race to start. I wish we could start now. <laughs> the owner ambassadors have been taking in the sights of Flemington and mixing with the celebrities. It is the all-star mile after all. Oh, it's so nice to be here today. The sun's shining, we've got blue skies. Um, it's a perfect day at Flemington. And Andy, joining back today, what are you so excited to see today? I'll do anything for free drinks. And that's why I'm here. And I'm, I'm literally the handbag. I'm the plus one. It's nice to have no responsibilities. I actually can't believe I'm doing this. Nick's a painter from Brisbane, and he's drawn the favourite Zaki. How does he look, mate? He looks very, very good, doesn't he? He looks confident. More than I can say for myself. <laughs> Are you excited? Very excited. It's been a terrific day so far. Looking forward to the climax. Paul and Alice are from Gympie, and it's their first trip to fabulous Flemington. Very excited, yeah, can't wait for the race. It's been a big build up, so yeah, very keen. It's been a dream to come to Flemington, so this is really something special for us. One owner ambassador spot remained to be drawn from those attending Flemington, and Elise Fisher has just received the call. Now she's on national television, and it's her first time ever at the races with a shot at $250,000. Yeah, wow, I can't believe it. I just came for a nice day out with my friends and here I am, yeah. It's unbelievable, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Start with horse two, Zaki, of course, the McKinnon winner here. He's an outstanding galloper, and I think the market suggests that he is the uh, best performed horse in this race. And Zaki will complete the line and take the outside Ellie, the three time Group One winner. They're set for the fourth All Star Mile. Stand by. Set now, and gates are back, and they're racing in the All Star Mile. Streets of Avalon to Fane King Magnus jump well with call sign Mav. Lightsaber and Zaki are also storming over from the deep. Call sign Mav is the leader after 200 from Lightsaber. Zaki at the moment three wide. Zaki went to the front, 300 metres to go, put up two legs, Streets of Avalon, pinstripe, I'm thunderstruck, late then call sign Mav, Zaki with 150 to go from Streets of Avalon, I'm thunderstruck, but it's Zaki clear, 50 metres to go, Zaki, a star, an all-star mile winner, scored a length and a quarter, second, I'm thunderstruck, Streets of Avalon. You're a race goer, is this your biggest day on a race track? Absolutely the biggest day, and the biggest day I probably I'll ever have. <laughs> What's the excitement like? It's, it's surreal. It's unbelievable, you know, when you, you watch the races, you be part of the races, but when you're actually here, it's a completely different experience. He's just a superstar horse. You can begin him and then he comes back. He does everything right. Um, I thought we were going pretty well on the turn, um, but his just sustained speed is unbelievable. He's just a machine. Where's this sit right now for you on oh, the totem pole? It's up there. <laughs> um, just to come back after the sort of the last six months um, we've had and I tried to pass mum then and um, I was doing pretty well and then I saw her in the tears game and no, it's just, it's really special to get back to the big level. I know it's not a group one but I've been runner up in the group ones of late and um, it's just nice to, to get a, a big race out, out of the way. Yeah, I've, I tell you what, I've been a mess all day. 
I get very nervous when he's running it, and it just feels feels a bit like relief, but elation as well. It's a five million dollar race um, with with an amazing team, um, a great ownership um, involved in him, and uh, yeah, I just can't believe it. The highs and lows of racing from Cox Plate morning, being told he wasn't going to run to to now the All Star Mile on the back of the McKinnon. So. It's a, it's a wonderful thing racing, isn't it? It's just a beautiful thing. I spoke to Nick on Thursday night and I spoke to him this morning and he just cuddled me and there were tears in his eyes and that's what it's about. You know, he's, a, he's a wonderful man and he's just so excited about the victory and it's a, it's a great aspect of racing. We're giving people the opportunity. You know, I met the ambassador that was chosen on course today. I went up the store and, and she just had not been to Flemington before but she scanned in and then she had a chance to win $250,000. You know, this, is, this is where we're at now with racing, we've got the, the fantastic races, our, our strong traditions and history, then we have days like today and I think going forward the blend of that can only see our sport just continue to grow. Yeah.